Welcome to another Blueprint IoT video and today we will take a look on Telegram. To connect Telegram Messenger with Node-RED, first of all you need to install the Telegram node. In case you don't know how to install a node in Node-RED, check out our video about this topic. So we will quickly go to the palette, install and search for Telegram. And we get a bunch of recommendations. We get one from two weeks ago, one from one, one month ago. And that's actually the one I already have experience with and I can really recommend you. So I will install this one right away. All right, since this is done, let's take a look on nodes. We find a receive node, a command node, event node, send, reply and control node. For the beginning, we will only take a look on the receive and the send node. So let's drop those nodes here. And let's get started with the receive node, since first of all, we want to listen to something. As soon as we open the node, we can see that we need to configure a bot. So before we can continue here, we have to set up our own bot, which we did already in another video, which I will link here. So to add the bot, we just hit edit and we would type in the bot name and the token. I will just skip this step quickly to not disclose my own token and bot name. All right, I just configured the bot for the sender node and the receiver node. I just selected the bot I once created with the drop down menu. And now we're ready to go and I will just hit deploy. As soon as we are deployed, we can immediately see that we are connected. So this worked perfectly fine. So our telegram receiver node is now listening to our bot as well as the sender node is already connected to the bot. Next, we will just add a debug node to the receiver node to be sure to receive all the messages we are listening to. Of course, this depends on the privacy settings you configured for the bot itself, which we already talked about in the video about how to create a bot. In case you may wonder which one of those two outputs to connect to your debug node, you can just click at the node and check at the help button. And here it's described that the first one is the standard output. So that's all messages from authorized users. And the second one is for messages from unauthorized users. So it's either number one or number two. So in case you don't care, you can just connect both to the debug node and you will receive all messages. So we will switch back to debug mode and hit deploy. All right, I just created a new chat with my bot. So let's give him a message. Message is out. So let's check in Node-RED again, what's going on here. And there we go. We can already see the messages in our debug menu. So in the object, we can see the start message, which was created automatically to start the chat in the first place and also our hello world message. So that's something that works perfectly fine. The reason why we started with the receive node is that we need the chat ID in terms of answering to this chat. So as every other normal Telegram user, the bot itself needs to know who to talk to. So normally you would open your contact app on your phone and you would just select the person you want text to. And exactly the same happens here. Just that we're not working with users, we're working with the chat ID to respond to this specific chat we just received a message from. So let's check out the Telegram sender node and check the help menu again. And there we can see that in the details that we will have a message.payload.content where the actual message will be stored. And we will have a message.payload.type where we will define the type of the message. And that's super important in case we skip this, it won't work at all. And we have message.payload.chatID where we have to enter our chat ID. In case this is a bit confusing, we can just double check now with our messages we already received. And there we can see again the structure of the object. In case you're a stranger to an object, just check out our video about objects where it's quite easily explained in a real world example what you can imagine as an object. So let's go ahead and just create exactly this kind of object with the inject node. So we will have payload.chatid. And we can see that this one is a number because it is blue kind of text. So I will just copy this define data type number, paste it here. Then we will go for message.payload.type. And we can see this was a string because it's a red text. So let's paste it here, message. You can also define a picture or an audio or a video or whatever you need. 
but for a moment we will go for the message. And of course we need the content. In case you run out of options here, you can always add another one. So let's go for message.payload.content and let's respond with hello out there. So this should be fine. So we hit done, connect the inject node to the sender node. We can now also add another debug here to listen to what we've sent. I think we're ready to go. So we'll hit deploy and let's give it a try. We injected it and without checking Telegram, we can already check here because it was outputted here. Content, where we can already see that hello out there was the text. It's a bit of a different format because it's the output of the sender node and not the output of what we are listening to. So in case you wonder why our message doesn't show up here at the top at the receiver node, that's because it's only listening to messages from other participants and not from our own. So that's why this output at the sender node is kind of useful, but of course it's just for double checking. But let's check in Telegram as well. And as far as I'm concerned, our bot responded with hello out there. So we are perfectly fine, received our answer and we can have a chat now. So with this super simple flow, we will close this video. We just took a look on how to set up the Telegram node, how to connect it to the bot and how to send and receive the first messages. Make sure to be subscribed to don't miss the next video where we will take a look how to create a little conversation style chatbot with Telegram and Node-RED. So thanks for watching and see you next time.